Ooh, that is not good. Oh no. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Jacked Up Fishing. Well in this video today, I'm gonna show you how I changed the lower end fluid on my Yamaha 350s. So if you watch me in the past, you see that I do these long tuna runs. They're 100 miles each way. Um, I'm doing them as much as I can. If the weather allows it, I like to run out there as much as I can. So I try to change my lower end fluid on these heavy boats. They tend to take a toll on these motors and the lower units. So I tend to uh, change the lower end fluid at least twice a year. Um, that way I can see if I've wrapped any line in there, got any water intrusion into the lower unit. Um, and I'll, I can just see what I got. And it also keeps the oil fresh. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and start doing it now. I'm going to start with this starboard engine here. I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're going to need. All right, guys. So the first thing you're going to need is a four millimeter Allen wrench. And that's to take this screen off because... The drain plug for this is underneath there so you're going to pull this all the way off here comes all the way up all right next you're going to need you're going to need a catch can the first thing you want to do is pull the bottom one before you pull the top one so it's a big straight slot screwdriver and this is magnetic usually so you can see what is on there so you don't want to lose that you want to grab a rag and just check it out this seems to be pretty good there's no there's just a little bit of fine debris on there nothing nothing chunky seems to be pretty good so i'm gonna put that right here Make sure your catch can's down there. And what you're looking for when you drain the oil is to make sure it's not milky. And this looks pretty good. Nice and blue still. Seems to be real good. So I'm going to drain all this out. Let this drain. And then I'll get back with y'all. So while this is draining, this is a good time to look around, check your prop out, make sure everything's good. Um, also look around at your tilt and trim, make sure there's no leaks. I see down on the bottom there, I got a, a little rusty spot around my garber drain. I need to see what that's all about. Probably change out the screw. Might have a little bit of dissimilar metal or something there. As you can see, I can see it up in there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and see what that's all about. But it's a good time just to check your overall engine, make sure you don't see anything alarming. Um, and while this is draining, you're not doing much anyway. So make sure you look all around, check your boat out, especially if it's an offshore boat, you wanna make sure you're on top of everything. So it's pretty much empty now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all my stuff ready. So I got this pump, uh, I bought this, it's a Yamaha pump. It screws right into the top. So what I'm using, as you can see it was $39. I got the Yamaha Yama Lube Marine Gear Case Lube. It's the 8090 weight. It's the GL5. That's the most important thing you need to know is GL5 for your lower unit. Pretty much, it's pretty easily done. I just take it and we screw it in. Now I try not to screw it in crazy too much because as you know, when you go to unscrew it, it can become a mess. So I screw it right in here just a little bit then I'll put this in here all right so then this is your oil level hole this is your fill hole this is also your drain hole so when you pump it in and you see it come out of here that means it's full so let's go ahead and start pumping Now 
It says it takes to 51 ounces. It takes quite a bit. So I'm just gonna keep pumping until I see it come out of this hole. And that's what I'm looking for. Just now coming out. Gonna have a rag here ready to go. There we go. Nice and solid. So that's when you take your top bolt, you put it in there. Tighten it up. We'll make sure it's nice and tight so that's gonna keep it from somewhat falling all out when you, you do it. So I always give it a little pump right at the end there. Now this is where it gets fun. You take this out and as soon as you can, get it in there. Now you take your screwdriver, tighten it up. So you're gonna definitely need rags, as you can see. And that's that engine. There's really nothing to it. Just wanna make sure you clean everything around there. That's it. Put the cat, put the uh, intake back on. All right, that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side now. Ooh, that is not good. Oh no. That is not good. Thank God it's been caught. Damn. I must have a seal out. Some seals in there gotta be fixed. Yeah. That's not all that's good. All right, so as you just seen, I did my maintenance. It was full of water, man. Not what I want to see, but I'm glad I did it because there was no chunks on there. So I just need to go ahead, pull the prop, see if there's any line wrapped around, see where the uh, well, water's coming in at. All right, so I'm gonna pull this prop now. So first thing on a prop, you're just gonna bend this cotter pin straight so you can get it out. There you go. Got a pair of good pliers. Just rock it out there. All right, got the cotter pin out. Big, uh, if you don't, if this don't work, you can just get the right size socket, but I think I'd have it pretty loose there. There we go. So you take the castle nut off. Oh. 
and there's a washer here that should all just pop right off here and i'm just going to leave it all together because it's on a rubik's hub And this is called the thrust washer. It pops off. And everything looks to be okay. So I don't know. That's the only thing it could be. Is that seal right here. There's two seals back to back right in there. And uh, I'm going to replace both of them, clean all this off real good, and uh, get it back together. All right, well, you see, that's why we do the maintenance right there. Pop the, pop the drain screw on there, water came out. Water mixed with oil. I'm going to let it drain overnight. I want to get all of it out as much as I can. And uh, I'm going to go tomorrow and get the seals. So I'm going to leave this video right here. And I'm going to go ahead and do a second part of this video as far as put the seals in, show you how to do that, and then uh, refilling it again. So I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate everybody that's liked and subscribed. It means a lot. And if you haven't yet, please hit that bell down below for notifications. Let you know when I put a new video out. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. All right. That's all I got for you. Jacked up out.